Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, gee, I opened up a little bit of a can of worms <clears throat> yesterday when I put this new video card in. I'm happy that I have it, but um, Manjaro sure doesn't like it. Uh, for some reason, I still can't get M Manjaro, any flavor of Manjaro, uh, to... It, it looks... Everything works fine, except... If I go to make a video like I'm doing now, once I finish and I click to open the file, it won't play. As a matter of fact, if I designate SM Player as the uh, player for the videos, when I double click the video, SM Player opens, but then it rolls up as if it's not a recognized video file. So it's very strange, and it's only happening on Manjaro. I've tried LXDE, XFCE, and Mate, three of them, and I can't get any of them to work right with it. So now um, I have Arch uh, running on another petition, and it's working fine. Uh, NVIDIA drivers, all the, the latest drivers, everything's working fine. A lot of the games that I couldn't run before are actually running well now. So the card is working fine. This is Debian. Now yesterday when I did the video, I uh, was in this desktop and I mentioned that I was not able to get the latest Debian uh, drive, the latest NVIDIA drivers installed in Debian because it would only give me and here's a uh, well I don't want to open GIMP with that but um, it would only give me the 3.40 driver so let me open this with uh, gthumb maybe you can see it a little bit better so this is a screenshot of what I did uh, yesterday and you can see here I had 340.93 so I took this screenshot and then I went ahead and um, basically followed some instructions uh, from a suggestion that I had on another video uh, Debian Uber um, this is when I did a, 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 a video on installing the latest NVIDIA drivers using the experimental repo which worked fine for me uh, up until that point. Um, but Debian Uber recommended that I look into this um, SGFXI script for Debian-based distros. So yesterday when I was not able to get past the 340 driver because it was giving me a, an error message, a uh, bunch of dependencies that could not be uh, installed, broken packages. So um, since I couldn't uh, install it through any conventional method that I knew of, I went back to this. And I had tried this actually on my other computer with the um, Broadcom Wi-Fi and the... And the uh, NVIDIA graphics and it did a good job on the other computer so I so since I put an NVIDIA card in this one I figured I'd go back and take another look at this now this is not um, it's it's not a difficult procedure but you kinda have to read through the the uh, instructions carefully so let before I go through the instructions let me show you I just took this screen screenshot a few minutes ago and you can see I'm now up to 355.11 and so uh, there is uh, and, the, and it went smooth smooth as silk no problems at all um, it went through the process I will go through the process with you now um, so you can see it and so you can now I won't be able to do the whole process because you have to drop out of X you have to actually go to a command line to finish up but as you can see this is my latest screenshot 355 11 and I'll go ahead and pull up 
NVIDIA and you can see I have 355.11. So let me show you what I did with that. Now this is the, basically this is the document. This is the, the wiki um, for SMXI. Now SMXI is a uh, script that encompasses SGFXI. For the NVIDIA graphics, you really only need SGFXI, but I went ahead and installed the whole package, SMXI. And so, and I wrote up uh, some instructions. Let me see if I have that. Okay, so it's pretty, other than a lot of reading and difficult, some of it is difficult to, to interpret, um, so I broke it down into a few steps. The first step is you have to do an apt-get update and apt-get install unzip, just in case you don't have it installed. So if you do have it installed, then you're good to go. So once you know that you have unzip, then you're going to, in terminal now, you're going to uh, sign in as root. So it's SU and then your password. So let's add that in here because we're going to go. Okay, so now you're signed in and you're at a terminal and you're signed in as root. Here's what you're going to run. You're going to copy and paste this second line. I'll put a little spacer there. So you're going to copy and paste this second line into your terminal as root and press enter. That's going to basically download and install the script, the SMXI script. Okay? So it's very easy up to this point. It's just app get update, app get install unzip, su, password. Now you root and you're going to copy this in and hit enter. Once that is done, and it doesn't take long, it's just pretty quick, you're going to press control alt F1 to drop to a command line. Okay, that's going to get you out of X. Now, keep in mind that you might, if you're on a, a wireless, you're going to lose your internet connection, and it's important that you have an internet connection. So, you have two choices. You can connect via Ethernet cable before you do this, or you can run the script a, a different way. So let me, I'm going to, for the first run through, I'm going to assume you have Ethernet. Okay? So you, now you've run this command, you've, you've pressed Control Alt F1, now you're at the command line, and what I want you to do is sign in as, as, as root. So you're going to SU and then password. Now you're going to be at a command line prompt where you could, if you wanted to, you could sign in as root and then enter the root password. Or you can sign in as yourself and then change over to root through SU. It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to put a little add-on here and I'm going to basically give you the option okay so you're gonna sign in as user enter your password and then you're gonna go SU and password to get into root okay or as I said instead of signing in as user you can type root as your username and and enter your pass your root password that will get you to a root prompt also so assuming you 
chose one of those two options, you're at a root prompt, then I want you to type SGFXI and press enter. Now, what will happen is it's going to go through a lot of data going to be flying by on your screen and then it's going to stop and ask you to answer a couple questions. The first one will be um, the default is to continue to install the NVIDIA drivers. So in most cases, all you're going to do is press enter. But if for some reason you want to back out, there will be an option to back out. There are three options. Just read them through carefully. And more than likely, you will just have to enter, enter, press enter. And that will continue on with the driver install. Then it's going to be flying data for a, a minute or two, and then it's going to pop up another window basically telling you that in order for the NVIDIA driver to function, the existing driver has to be removed. Don't misinterpret that. It's not asking you to remove anything. It's just telling you that if you press enter on OK, the system will automatically remove the old driver and activate the new driver. You don't have to do anything other than press enter. Once you finish up, it's going to go through all everything that it needs to do. It's automatic. And then at the end, it's going to give you the option to um, quit. Or I think option one is to restart X. That's what you want. You want to restart X. That's going to bring you back to your sign-in, your graphical desktop sign-in. You sign in, you're at your desktop, and you've got your new NVIDIA drivers installed. Okay, so that's the procedure if you do have Ethernet. If you don't have Ethernet, when you hit Control alt f one then here's what I'd like you to do. So let's backtrack a little bit. Once you do this command, CD right here, before you press Control alt f one you're going to run this command, okay? You see this? See, if no internet connection in console, which means your terminal, before you hit Control Alt F1, run this command. Now, I'll put the uh, I'll put this note just the way you see this. I'm going to put it into the show notes so that you can you should be able to copy and paste. Okay, so if you don't have internet connection when you hit Control Alt F1, you're going to run the first command, CD. You're going to run the second command. Once that's done, because that's going to download everything that it needs so that it doesn't have to download anything once you go to your command line. So run that. And then, once that's done, it's going to download. Once it's done, Control Alt F1. Again, you're going to be signing in as root. But now, instead of SGFXI up here, you're going to type SGFXI space dash capital W. That will install everything that was downloaded here. Okay, so I hope that was clear. Um, 
again, thanks to Debbie and Uber for pointing me in this direction because it does work. I've done it twice now and I've had no issues whatsoever. So I am running on the latest and the greatest NVIDIA drivers in my Debian. And as long as you follow the directions, as long as you have an NVIDIA card, and I believe this works with ATI also. Uh, I think there's a note in here that says it works with ATI, but uh, don't quote me. Oh yes, NVIDIA and ATI. It allows the automatic installation of video drivers. So um, many thanks for whoever put this all together. I think it's the Mepis community, but um, evidently the Mepis community uses this as a recommended method to install NVIDIA in Debian. And uh, again, Debian Uber pointed it out to me and it is very, very nice. So that is it for this video, guys. Good luck. Uh, if you try this, let me know how you make out. And um, if you need any help, uh, just let me know. But as long as you follow these steps, then you'll be able to get this done. Okay, guys, so thank you for stopping by. I'm continuing to try to troubleshoot my Manjaro, but in the meantime, I have uh, Debian testing or stretch running nicely. That's how I'm making this video. And I have Arch, plain vanilla Arch installed through Architect Installer. That's on a different petition and that's running fine. And I also downloaded Linux Mint Mate uh, because I wanted to see how that functioned with my new card. And that is functioning fine. I'm going to do a review on that uh, probably tomorrow. So guys, uh, again, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.